Have you ever been in a little Bible study or a church setting and the, uh, the person that's leading the group or the pastor gives you a Bible verse and a book and you start grabbing through your Bible and, and you're flipping through, flipping through, flipping through. And by the time you find the verse that, uh, they're, they, that, you know, that they're talking about, by the time you find it, They've already found it. Everybody feels like every. Have you ever felt like it feels like everybody else, like like they they magically, poof, and ah, they're right there on the verse, and the book and verse, and you 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 you're thumbing through, you know, feeling a little insecure, like maybe, maybe you're missing the boat, or maybe, honestly, it just feels like you don't know where anything is in the Bible, and everybody else in the group does. You ever felt like that? I have. I have definitely felt like that. And if you have felt like that, um. First of all, not everybody else knows what they're doing. Um, we all go through this. We all have a, a learning process. Um, you know, most of us are still learning it. And with the exception of those who are in full-time ministry, I'm going to assure you that very few of us actually know where each book is, especially when you start getting into the smaller books of the New Testament and Old Testament. Those small books are hard to find. So I just wanted to kind of uh, maybe do some some of these videos on better understanding the Bible, better understanding how to find things in the Bible, better understanding, um, you know, kind of the um, the foundational how, what how the Bible was uh, foundationally put together. Because if you can kind of understand the difference between um, New Testament and Old Testament, like if you're a new a, a new Christian or you've just come to know who Jesus Christ is and God is. You may not even know the very basics that there's an Old Testament and a New Testament. Or how many books are in the Bible? Here's a quick question, a little quiz. How many books are in the Old Testament? How many books are in the New Testament? Um, and how many books are total in the entire Bible? And so let's just start with some basic facts. There are two major uh, divisions in the Bible. One is the Old Testament and one is the New Testament. And if somebody was to tell you to find something in, in the Bible, um, learning which books are in the New Testament and the Old Testament can be very helpful. But what can even be more helpful is I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a secret. Okay, here's a little secret. The first thing you want to do is right in the front of your book, put a bookmarker right in there. I've got a bookmarker right in here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's the table of contents. In that table of contents, in your Bible and in mine, is all the books of the Bible. And at least the first page, it tells you the first page of the book. And do not, for one second, feel embarrassed. If everybody else seems to flip open to a specific location, the right book, or, or because maybe they've, maybe they've been doing this for 17 years, how long I've been doing this, and I still can't find anything in the Bible. Uh, you know, and the only reason I've gotten better at it over the last few months is because I spend each day in the Word. Um, I did some studies that helped, um, they're basically like each day you do three or four pages of these, uh, study guides and they do is they just kind of like, will keep flipping you back and forth to different spots in the Bible. Like each question, there'll be a question in that question, you're looking it up in the Bible and it, 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 that helped me a lot to get better at finding things in the, in the Bible. But what I wanted to do is to kind of first and foremost give you the first cheater, the first way to do this is please, if you struggle with this in any way, put something in your table of contents. This will help you immensely. Do not be embarrassed to go to your table of contents. This doesn't make you any less Christian. It doesn't make you any less loved by Jesus. It doesn't make you any, in fact, if anybody in that group or that Bible group is judging you because you're struggling with finding something in the Bible. They don't, A, remember what it was like to be either a new creation in Christ or somebody who just hasn't quite got to the point where they can flip and find, you know, Timothy. You know, one of the, what you hear? Quick thing. All the T's in the New Testament are together. The Thessalonians, the Timothys, all the T's are together in the New Testament. Testament. That's a nice way to kind of, if it's a T, you can find it in the New Testament, in the T section. Uh, the, the New Testament is, it predominantly starts off with four Gospels, um, and those are the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, and so anything out of those first four 
Gospels will be about Jesus Christ's ministry. Uh, anything in the Old Testament kind of starts off with Genesis. It is the creation of man. And so in the next video, what I want to do is start to break down. The next video we do on how to better uh, uh, find things in the Bible is I want to start to break down maybe some other ways that we can better understand where individual books are in you know, whether it's in the New Testament or the Old Testament. Once Christ's ministry starts, the first four Gospels are very simply going to be the ministry of Jesus Christ. And then you get Acts. And what, you know, Acts is, is the, you know, kind of comes after Jesus Christ has died. Uh, the first portion of Acts, we're talking about his resurrection and then his ascension to heaven. And anyways, and that's exactly why I'm doing this study. is because I too want to know more about what makes up the foundations of the Bible so I can better understand the foundations of who Jesus Christ is. So come along with me as we go over the next couple weeks to a month or two months, however long it takes. I'm going to slowly kind of do this and process this myself and then hopefully hopefully can help you guys to better understand how to find things in the Bible and then how to break it up into, into bite-sized uh, chunks so we can better understand the stories of the Bible. Hope you have a blessed day. Hey, if you like what I had to say or you want to keep, you want to hear more about how to find things in the Bible or about the Bible, the stories of the Bible, please hit subscribe so you know when we put up a video. Hit like and please leave me a comment as to what would help you to better understand these things. Have a blessed day. Keep the faith.